construction of Highway 51 has done its share of damage as well. The project to expand the highway on each side was supposed to be complete last June, but unexpected ground soil has caused problems and stalled the project by almost a year. Tulu Jr. Latoya McInnes says the construction has done significant damage to her car and she will be glad when it is complete. In the end, highway will expand four lanes and a new sidewalk for pedestrians will be in place. For those college students that may be interested in moving off campus into an apartment, you may want to rethink it. Gas prices are expected to take an extreme leak this summer, affecting more than the prices at the gas pump. Homeowners could also see a spike in the electric bills. Entergy expects the average person's bill to be $121 this month because of natural gas prices, an increase of $26 from last year. A Kentucky Dean List student receives all F's on his transcript after being expelled from his university. 20-year-old Jason Johnson was dismissed from the University of the Cumberlands after posting his sexual orientation on a website. Many anti-discrimination organizations have questioned the legitimacy of this act. The university has allowed Johnson to send his work to the finished course under the agreement that he would not sue his university for all damages. He does, however, have the right to file a complaint with the U.S. Department of Education and Southern Association of Colleges and University, and he will, says Johnson's lawyer. He plans to transfer to Eastern Kentucky University in the fall. Illegal immigrants were arrested and loaded onto a Department of Homeland Security bus early Wednesday morning. Federal agency raided IFCO Systems, a Western Jackson business, and took immigrants into custody. Management refuses to elaborate on how many people were detained or arrested. Government officials says IFCO executives are expected to face indictment for hiring undocumented workers. American Idol producers Simon Cowell and Fremantle Media have joined forces with NBC in search for hot new talent and acts. The new series, American Got Talent, will showcase all variety of novelty acts. Open calls will be held in Atlanta, Georgia at America's Smart Registrations, and auditions will take place from 9.30 a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. The series is scheduled to premiere this summer on NBC. I'm Latiffany Dean.